a really really nice question. X is equal to this, and solve the value of this. Oh, how can I do that? It's horrible. Three times horrible. First, the value of x is horrible. Here appears a square root. Second, this, the base, is also horrible. Third, the exponent, two thousand twenty-two, is also horrible. If there are three times horrible in this question, oh, it's thirty, isn't it? Because here appears a square root, so it is horrible. Then, we from this equation, we multiply by two on the both sides. Okay. You can see what will appear. Two times x is equal to one, then plus square root of one nine nine four. If we want to remove the square root, what should we do? Yes, we should minus one on the both sides. Now, two times of x, then minus one is equal to square root of one nine nine four. But here, still a square root, so we should so get a square root on the both sides. Two x then minus one squared is equal to one nine nine four. Two x minus one or squared is equal to four times x of square uh, four times of x squared then minus four x then plus one is equal to one nine nine four because. Here appears a one and a four, so it can be written as four times x squared then minus four x then plus one. So the base four times x cubed then minus one nine nine seven times x then minus one nine nine four. Four times of x cubed, then minus one nine nine seven times x, then minus one nine four is four times of x squared, then minus four x, then plus one. Don't forget here, there is a bracket. Now we remove the bracket. It is four times of x cubed, then minus one nine nine seven x, and then minus four times of x squared. And then plus four x and then minus one. Awesome. Then what should we do? Yes, continue doing it, because this is four times of x cubed minus four times x squared minus one nine nine seven x then plus four x. It is minus one nine nine three x then minus one. Pay attention. To this, these three, they all have a same factor that is x. So take it out. It is x then times four times x squared then minus four x and then minus one nine nine three minus one. Okay, now what should we do? How to do this? Four times x squared then minus four x then minus one nine three. Don't worry. From here, we minus one and four on the both sides. You can get four x squared then minus four x plus one then minus one and four is minus one thousand nine hundred ninety three. It is zero. So it's the same. Do you notice that? So value of this is just x then times zero then minus one. All of the numbers times zero is zero. So then. Zero minus one, it is minus one. Then to the power two thousand twenty-two minus one to the power two thousand twenty-two, it is one. So the final answer is one. Did you get it?